Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm your host, FD for C5.TV, and today I just want to cover one popular cryptocurrency that is making rounds. And I know someone close to me has actually gone into this. I don't have any position in Toncoin, but someone close to me has actually gone in there because they see some price accumulation or some price increases of a different kind. I unfortunately see things differently because of my own reasons. That said, guys, before I jump into this video where we are looking at the strengths and weaknesses of the Telegraph Open Network or Toncoin, the blockchain and the cryptocurrency. Let's do some housekeeping first. Please note that this is not financial advice. The information contained within this video is just for educational as well as entertainment purposes. For those in the UK, you are not meant to be watching this video because the UK authorities do deem anything crypto related to be extremely risky. Therefore, you should not be watching any crypto content. That's it, guys. If you are from the rest of the world, enjoy this video because I think it's going to give you a different take on what the Telegram Open Network or Torn is all about as a blockchain and whether it's a strong project or it's a weak project is it worth investing in what about the tokenomics and stuff we are going to touch some of these weaknesses and strengths let's start by describing what the open network is the telegram open network is it's shortened as toncoin so the telegram open network or tone is a blockchain platform originally developed by the messaging service telegram it aims to provide fast secure and scalable solutions for decentralized applications or dApps and decentralized finance or DeFi. toncoin take a simple TON is the native cryptocurrency of the TON blockchain used for transactions, staking, and governance within the network. Now, in the past, we've done a DIY or a risk evaluation of TON coin. That was way before it became so popular. So those who jumped on the bandwagon when we did our DIY or a risk evaluation, congratulations. Well, right now, you are sitting on some decent returns or decent gains. Those who just jumped in, just hope that the price will go up quite significantly from where we are, which I think it will do. But the returns won't be as much as those who went in earlier on. That's it guys let's move on to the strengths of the telegram open network or tone coin oh the first one is high scalability tone uses sharding technology or dynamic sharding which allows it to split and make change to accommodate varying loads ensuring high throughput and efficiency and its architecture also supports high transaction speeds we are talking of millions of transactions per second making it suitable for mass adoption and a high value application moving on to security and decentralization tone coin has got strong encryption leveraging telegram's expertise in secure communication tone incorporates robust encryption mechanisms to ensure data security and privacy. It is also a decentralized network within reason. The platform is designed to be highly decentralized, reducing the risk of single points of failure and enhancing the network security. But there are also still question marks or red flags around the number of tokens in certain wallets. That is for you to do research on. Let's look at the user friendliness when it comes to integration. Tone's integration within Telegram makes it accessible to millions of existing Telegram users, facilitating easy adoption and use cases. But the only downside of that is the adoption could be from the poor parts of the world where there is little liquidity. If the rest of the world is not incorporated, here I'm talking of the richer regions of the globe, if they are not incorporated or they are not buying into this, then Telegram might find it hard to draw. But that's my own take. I mean, it happens with any project that is based, say, in the Far East, in certain parts of the Far East, where there might not be enough liquidity. The project might be great, but because they are relying on wealth transfer from the richer parts of the world to the poor parts of the world, if that part of the world does not play ball, they are running into problems, there won't be enough liquidity. The Tone platform is also designed with user experience in mind, providing straightforward interfaces and tools for developers and users. Let's look at some of the versatile use cases. You've got dApps and DeFi. Tone supports a wide range of decentralized applications and financial services, from simple transactions to complex smart contracts. It also offers digital payments. Tonecoin can be used for fast, low-cost transactions, making it suitable for micropayments and global remittance. I mean, that area of micropayments, that's why it makes it ideal for for Toncoin to support gaming because of micropayments because most games have got in-game payments and if a, if a network or blockchain support micropayments it's got an advantage when it comes to gaming. The Ton network also has strong community and developer support. It boasts an active community and it is a robust and active community of developers and users contributing to its growth and development. The project's open source nature allows for transparency and encourages contributions from developers worldwide. Now let's move on to some weaknesses of the Telegram open network network or tone coin. The first one is regulatory challenge. We still have what might be coming from the SEC scrutiny. The original launch of tone faced significant regulatory challenges from the US Securities and Exchange Commission or SEC, which led to Telegram abandoning the project. Although the network is now community driven, regulatory risks remain. The evolving global regulatory landscape for cryptocurrencies could impact tone's operations and growth if the global regulatory environment becomes hostile. I mean, as part of the witness, we are also 
going to touch on some of the initial setbacks and trust issues. The project, like I said, was previously abandoned when Telegram's withdrawal from the project shook confidence among potential investors and users, creating trust issues that the community must overcome. Here you are looking at reputational risks, recovering from the initial setbacks, and proving the network's reliability and sustainability remains a challenge in certain quarters, of course. What about competition? The market is crowded. Tone operates in a highly competitive space with numerous established and emerging blockchain platforms offering similar capabilities. How does it differentiate itself? While Tone has unique features, it must continuously innovate and differentiate itself to maintain and grow its user base. Right now, it's riding the Telegram bandwagon, but will that come to an end soon? You never know, but it must continue to differentiate itself. Now, moving on to adoption and ecosystem development, compared to other established blockchains like Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain, Tone's ecosystem is still developing and may take time to reach similar levels of maturity and adoption. Looking at some of the popular projects on Tonecoin, you're talking of gaming and another gaming project is called NOT. So that game is NOT, N-O-T. And then the rest of the project, on the, no disrespect, but the rest of the project, are, they are if they are questionable. I'm sure there are some decent projects and obviously you've got meme coins as well. So maybe that might help, you never know. When it comes to developer tools, while the network is developer friendly, continuous improvements and enhancements in tools and resources are needed to attract more developers. So they need to do something around that. If they've managed to come up with a software development kit or SDK, then that's great. It means developers can actually walk in and start using tools that are readily available. If that is not in place yet, then we've got a problem because people have got to actually lend the project, the platform, the software and so forth before they can build on. But looking at some of the project building on top, I'm sure there is a software development kit in place. Otherwise, it will be not worth it. So in conclusion, the Telegram Open Network or Toncoin offers several strengths, including high scalability, strong security, user-friendly integration, versatile use cases, and active community support. These features make it a promising platform for decentralized applications and financial services. However, the network faces significant challenges such as regulatory risks, trust issues from initial setbacks, intense competition, and the need for further ecosystem development. Overcoming these weaknesses will be crucial for Tone's long-term success and adoption. Investors and developers considering Tone should weigh these strengths and weaknesses carefully, keeping an eye on regulatory developments and the platform's ongoing growth and innovation effort. Like I said, the ecosystem, while it is taking shape, there's nothing that is jumping out and saying, here I am, I'm the killer duck. We've got these two gaming platforms, but come on, you need more than that. You need more than that. It can't all be about microtransactions. You also want to go into serious large transactions like what Ethereum or to a certain extent your Solana managed to do. What I want to know from you guys, do you hold Toncoin? I personally do not, but I do hold gaming, which is a gaming project on Toncoin. So let me know if you hold Toncoin and what you think about its prospect. Let us know in the comment section. Until the next one, I'm your host, FD465.TV, signing out for the bye.